Hello everyone, and it's uh, Mr. Burns here, and um, yeah, we're going to be drive today. We're going to be driving the Class One Four Three DMU on the Riviera Line. This uh, was one of my favourites, one of my favourite trains, and one of my favourite routes in the game. So uh, yeah, it says a tick because I did do it yesterday, but um, uh, the recording didn't work because I was using the 32-bit version of the train sim and it crashed due to an out of memory error so I fixed it now made sure I'm using the 64-bit version um, by the way if you're wondering how to use the 64-bit version of train sim if you're not a 32-bit PC I will be doing a, a tutorial video on that so stay tuned to the channel for that but for this video we're going to redo a class 143 it's a 40 minute scenario and uh, on a clear autumn day uh, in the late afternoon so yeah, so we're just gonna uh, do this again. I did this yesterday, but uh, yeah, the recording just failed because of the out of memory error. So hopefully, I'm loud enough for after the game volume down so you can hear me because this train is quite loud. Hello driver, today you'll be taking this service on a practice run to get used to the service you'll be finding. First pick up passengers from here at Newton Abbott, then up to Exeter St David's. So, that threw me off first because I heard you hear the doors open and you think you're alright, but actually, um, no, it's another train opening doors, so where you have to open the doors because yes, the last time I set off without, without any passengers in, so. Strange because there's no other train here, so. So yeah, that's something to watch out for in uh, this scenario. Looks like we're ready to go to uh, Tamworth, so uh, let's go. Oh, we've got a couple of passengers waiting to get on, so we'll let them get on. And uh, then we'll get to Paynton. No, let's go anyway, otherwise we're going to be late, aren't we? Signal's green, that's good. I do love this train. Doesn't sound as good as the Armstrong Powerhouse version, um, which is the class one for two. But if you download that, then the sounds from that train will apply to this train. I'm just driving the default class one for three with the, the full sounds. It is quite an old, very old uh, model. Um, most of the buttons don't work, um, but I still like it. I would like to learn how to drive around the hood as well. Uh, on this train, so that'll be good. So I did travel on this line once when I went to uh, painting on holiday uh, back in 2017, so five years ago now, time really flies, but uh, yeah, I've travelled on this class one for free uh, on this line between uh, Newton Abbott and Painter. And then coming back, I travelled on a class one five three from uh, 
located at Newton Airport before changing back onto the cross country train and going back home. So, I would like to get the class 153 because that is a pretty cool train. So, hope you can hear me um, over the noise of this train. Um, I'm sat right next to the microphone, I have to turn the game volume down. like an enhancement pattern you can get for this train to make it look better and uh, and stuff um, and you can get um, for about two pounds you can get the uh, provincial livery which will give it uh, the old livery uh, when these trains were first um, were first built in the British Rail days back in the 1980s, and it, it has it in like the old uh, British Railways livery. Um, with the uh, original bus seats as well, because these were modified to include uh, these more modern style seats. if they redid this route so it would look better. Um, of course I'd love to see this route in train some world as well. Um, so let's begin slowing down for Tamworth. And um, in the last video I had a bit of problems with the brakes because if you leave the brakes on for too long the brakes under pressure builds too high and then you can't actually um, set off from the station so I have to remember to release the brakes when I'm at the station. Other people don't seem to have this problem when driving this train, it's just me, but it uh, seems to be a lot. So the brakes are pretty uh, nifty on this train, so I just tend to use step on braking. Um, and the time step is pretty lenient as well, so you can take your time, really, you don't have to go into the stations at like 40 miles an hour. So I'm looking for the um, free car marker. I don't think we need two car markers on these routes, just a free car marker. So there it is, the free car marker is uh, there. says Exmouth. Uh, Newton Abbott to uh, Exeter St David, which is a part of the line I didn't do when I was on holiday. I did Newton Abbott to Paynton, which is only about 10-15 minutes, so this is the longest stretch of the line. I don't think I can buzz back, can I? And that's the horn. C 
obviously got a bit of, um, I forgot to release the brakes, so we've got a bit of uh, brakes in the pressure there, so. Yeah, it's not the fastest train, but I do like it. Um, I like old, slow, noisy trains, and this train, def this train definitely fits the bill. These units used to bounce around a lot uh, as well. Not really a lot on this line, but on some lines, on the Class 142s especially, um, some of those lines, like Preston to Ormskirk, you, you would be s the trains would bounce a lot, and you, if you were sat in the rear carriage, you would see the the other carriage like bouncing up and down erratically uh, in front of you, uh, which is quite good. So next station is Dawlish um, in uh, two and a half miles. Yeah, it is a bit of a beautiful route in real life. Uh, this doesn't really do it justice. Um, if it was a newer route, or they did it in Train Sim World, then this would look really good. Away to your West there, warning me about the 60. You've got to wear your wits about you. If, um... Guess if I would have missed that then. Team. Oh, that's a nice touch. I love how it looks like well used and uh, yeah. Just do a nice screenshot here. learn this route so I can drive it without the hood as well. Um, another thing I love about this train is the wide open windows. Um, so do get a good view. Cylinder pressure can't let it build up too much. Uh, just about on time as well. Not sure why the free car mark is there when. Um, most of the action, the entrance to the platform seems to be all the way back there. So the passengers, if they want to get on the train, have to walk from all the way uh, down there. See where you get on. So make more sense after the the free car stop marker there. So. As you get on the trains right in front of you, but um, anyway, there we go. Oh, 
we'll see. Break. Cylinder pressures. Probably not going to be able to set off now. We'll see very, very slow acceleration. The brakes on this train, it doesn't seem to like it when I... When you go into step one and then release and then go back into step one again, it doesn't seem to like it, so it's something to be aware of. And, uh, on this train. Let's just do a quick uh, save. Let's go into the minimised hood because it does take up a lot of space. So it's I'd love to be able to drive without the hood. That would be really satisfying. Uh, I mean, it's not the hardest route to learn. Uh, most of the time, you're just going flat out between stations because uh, the speed limits are quite high and it's uh, a slow train. So if they can get a gold star in this. The game doesn't really care where you stop on the platform as long as you uh, stop. I think it'd be nice if um, the the game the game let you um, the game gave you extra points for stopping at the right place. Um, I have played Open BVE, which is a really old train simulator. But one thing that bugs me about that is you have to stop at exactly the right place. Because um, you don't stop at the right place on the platform, it says it doesn't let you open the doors, and you have to like reverse back and uh, or pull forward a bit more, which is really annoying. Oh crap! I just realised I was talking too much. Got a 25 limit coming up. Oh no! I can't release it out of emergency now. Bloody hell, those brakes are fast, aren't they? Um, I don't think the passengers would have liked that very much. Uh, yeah, I just was talking away and then... Um, didn't realise the station coming up. The 25 limit as well, so yeah that's what happens. So I've missed the three car stop marker as well. So it's like I have to stop at the four car stop marker, but uh, never mind. There's another class one for free pace, so this time a four car. Yeah, and very sadly these trains have been um, decommissioned now. Most of them have been scrapped. A few of the paces have been preserved. Uh, but, uh, yeah, um, it is a shame. It's because of they didn't meet the new disability. Um, it's like a good screenshot, actually. Disability uh, requirements that we're trying to have to meet now. And, uh, so, yeah. Considered too expensive to refurbish them. Uh, to uh, to uh, meet the requirements. So it's 
which is unfortunately gone, they're no longer on mainline service, um, which is a great shame. Uh, well, I know a lot of people won't agree because uh, these trains aren't very popular, but um, some people do like paces, and I'm one of those people I do love them. I love like, the engine noise, um, the look of them, especially the 1543, um, the seats on them. Uh, the, the, the bouncing on the joint of track, just everything about them, the slowness, just that old style feel of them, it's just great. So, yeah, they will be very sadly missed by a lot of rail enthusiasts out there. Not so much by the general public, though. shame it's not earlier in the day because it's going a bit dark now and um, it's quite a bright day outside my monitor's um, quite dim it's not very bright so yeah it's uh, could do with being a bit brighter but never mind I would like to see like Armstrong Powerhouse do like um, better version of this train with more of the more functional buttons. Uh, during its start across at one minute one minutes in one minute's time. Uh, we've got uh, less than a mile to go. A good rule of thumb in train sim is to start braking. Um, let's say you're half a mile away from the station uh, and you're going at 50 miles an hour, that's when I would start braking. That's a good point to start braking. If you're going at like 100 miles an hour, then um, a mile away is a good place to start braking. Um, if you're going 120 miles an hour, then 1.2 miles to start breaking. I find that a really good like rule of thumb. Of course, it depends what train you're on and uh, the gradient and everything. But uh, yeah, I find that a really good rule of thumb uh, to do. So on time again, just about. at the free car stop marker just about as well. So a good screenshot moment I'm doing. Bit of a penalty. So generally, um, drivers wouldn't go into full power straight away. They'd maybe go into notch three or so, uh, then into notch five, and then. When you get up to about maybe 15 miles an hour, they go into notch 7, full power. Um, most drivers wouldn't go into full power straight away, and I think that's mainly due to, to prevent wheel slip and also for the comfort of the passengers as well. Uh, so I think it's good practice to do that in the train set.
So next stop is Exeter St. Thomas um, in seven miles. This is a long stretch of uh, the route between stations. This train's incredibly easy to drive. It's just very basic controls, brake and throttle. You know, a lot of trains have like um, combined brake and throttle, which is even easier, I suppose, but it's very simple controls. Just a seven step throttle and a four step brake. Uh, it's the same for the sprinter trains as well. They have the same setup a seven step throttle, four step brake controller. Um, so, yeah. We've got 100 limits uh, coming up. Not that, not, not that we're going to get to that because our max speed is 75 miles an hour. It can go faster than that if you leave it on full throttle, but strictly speaking, you're not supposed to, to exceed 70 miles an hour in these trains. You can see there's a pedal down there, which isn't simulated in the game, but in real life, presumably the driver would have to keep his foot on the pedal, um, otherwise the train would come to a stop. It's uh, one of those safety features. Uh, Good attempt. Uh, this route's now eight years old, so uh, 2014. So we can't criticise the graphics too much. Uh, of course, I'm not running this on full graphics anyway. I'm only on high graphics because I tried to get onto highest graphics, but the uh, computer didn't like it. Um, my frame rate went into like single figures, whereas on high high graphics, it was all there. really smooth with 30 frames per second most of the time on this route anyway on more built up routes it might the frame rate will probably drop a bit below 30 fps uh, during that exit St Thomas at uh, 6 o'clock uh, so crossing on this section. You have to be really careful crossing um, this bog because um, you can try and go up to 100 miles an hour like the HSTs on this section of the line. Um, so yeah. You only get like a few seconds warning before when the train blows its horn before it passes over the crossing. So. about 75 miles an hour I'll just put the throttle into notch 6 which will hold us at around 75 miles an hour just so we don't break that 75 mile an hour uh, speed limit in the trains you're not supposed to take the train out
So we get uh, 2.75 miles away. We'll begin braking for X to St. Thomas, uh, which should be hopefully we'll break in time for that. Let's see if I uh, don't know where the braking point for this will be in real life, uh, but. Uh, to use step two braking up so we're coming in fairly quickly. Uh, step two braking is a bit harsh on these uh, trains so I don't know whether most pacer drivers just use step one braking or step two and whether it was uh, I don't remember pacers slowing down quite as fast as uh, they do in this game so so maybe the brakes aren't as good in real life on the paces, or maybe the driver's just used to use step on the braking. Uh, I'm not sure. It's got a double yellow, uh, means the next sing signal is yellow, single yellow, but we are coming into Exeter St. Thomas, so we will have a, a red signal. Um, We're going to arrive about a minute late into Exeter, uh, St. Thomas, uh, but never mind, eh? Stop, car mark is right on the end of the platform. These does do it, could have been really stopped for the end of the platform. So they could push guys having to walk down on them and stop right at the end, so... Fortunately those people are going to miss the train now, yeah? because it's a career scenario. Coming to Exeter St. David's. Hopefully, the recording uh, has, uh, won't fail this time. HST.
first Great Western livery, these trains were in the um, the last few years of the service. Um, the Great Western were able to take over when they were doing the Great Western Railway livery, which just did look a lot different. How was that? You managed such a long time and committed to seeing people in the service. Job well done. So let's see. Uh, scored 937, 618 XP gained. So lost some points for uh, drive quality there when I uh, put the emergency brakes on. And lost a few points for timeliness, but I uh, still gained some points, just not as much as I would have done. So. Is that enough for a gold star? It's 937. Scores very similar to these people. The top scores a thousand, so um, it's got very close to a gold star. Um, yeah, I did get a gold star, so that's really, really good. Uh, so I didn't get anything for those ones. I got a silver for them, that one. So yeah. Um, all right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, train simulator video if there's any routes or trains you want to see in future videos then uh, uh, just uh, comment down below and i'll see what i can do with you but for this video that's all for now and thanks for watching